Hi everybody, how are you? This is Julio again with another fun project. This time it's for my was for my daughter. Uh, she wanted to have her privacy in her room, so I implemented a fingerprint uh, lock system for her room. It's just pretty straightforward. It's a fingerprint reader, and uh, which once uh, she or I obviously she will not have only access to that room. Uh, passes the finger through the reader it uh, unlocks the door from the inside and uh, allows her in this project was uh, pretty straightforward I just needed one Arduino one fingerprint sensor I, a push button light and LCD the LCD is in the outside part as you will see in the, in the following video which is uh, it'll tell you whether you're verified or not or uh, and give you a welcome mes uh, message also, uh, the push pin is from the inside. When she wants to exit the door, the push pin will be activated by pressing it. It will have a nine seconds delay. Uh, the ingenuity of it is just uh, the way I was able to uh, create a retracting system for the lock. Uh, oh, by the way, there's another a servo which uh, enables the, the the lock mechanism, opens it up, and then the rubber band retracts it back into position, into the lock position. Also, the uh, ingenuity of it is the uh, way I uh, I uh, provided the supply the uh, power to it. I just um, basically run the cord from underneath of the door, and then right un under the carpet to cross the door to the uh, power switch, which is in the wall, which uh, you will also see on the uh, on the following video, and also. The most important tools for any engineer, Tupperware. That's the main component of my project. I used two Tupperware boxes in which I placed all my components for this project. Uh, coding was pretty straightforward except for the fingerprint uh, part. You have to enroll the fingerprints first and then uh, it's a sequence in which you have to break it in the middle and for in order for it to go in and uh, execute the open or close commands or uh, reject commands uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, I hope uh, you guys like it. If you need the copy of this uh, code, just shoot me an email and I'll be more than glad to give it to you guys. I hope you like it. Have a good day. Bye. main door and that's uh, the fingerprint digital reader that's the LCD showing nothing at this point there's no activity door is locked we cannot get in so uh, I have registered and rolled my fingerprints in fact you should be able to read down there pretty soon my name saying welcome Julio there you go and you hit the door opening and that's the door be open. By the way, by the way, part of my materials were uh, two uh, these plastic bo uh, boxes right here. This is the inside part, and this is how it is activated. Basically, it's uh, as soon as the uh, fingerprint is uh, read, Arduino allows you to come in by triggering the servo, pulling the uh, lock back and by using this uh, rubber band right here it retracts it back once the uh, server releases it I've got a uh, push button here this one I have not been able to get it to work quite well yet because I have got a delay in there oh it worked this time but see that's basically the mechanism 
you just close it in this one uh, the, bu the push button has a nine second delay so and then the, the door gets locked the ingenuity of it is the fact that I uh, the way I connected the uh, uh, Arduino in there it's uh, I went through the door I had to pull the door out and then I ran the, the cable underneath of the door and then I pulled it underneath of the carpet got out to this wall and plugged into the outlet right here and that's how I'm able to bring power into this Arduino uh, let's try this push button one more time and um, ah, lucky for me opens it and then you notice that's a longer uh, delay there for people exiting the door and it comes in and locks it when the door is activated from outside put my finger in there and then you, your name comes up in there down there I put my finger now so you see welcome we are right there and the servo gets activated and this one is a shorter delay it's just a three seconds to come in and that's about it